today I have the EK Archery Cobra System Adder Crossbow. This is a magazine fed hand cocking sort of mini crossbow but it's not small but it's not a full size crossbow. This came to me with two separate limbs. We have 130 pound and we have 180 pound. Today I'm going to be using the 180 pound limb. This shipped with sort of a cheapo red dot sight so I'm going to be skipping this today and I'm going to be switching to my Trijicon ACOG 4X. Today we're going to be using these 7.5 inch long 190 grain crossbow bolts. Now the pretty cool thing about this adder crossbow is this magazine. This holds five bolts. One quick correction I wanted to make, this shipped to me with two different magazines. The standard one is a five round capacity and they also sent me an upgraded one which has a seven round capacity. And then with this caulking system here, it being a 180 pound limb, we get enough mechanical advantage with this leverage to relatively easily caulk the crossbow. So that allows for pretty easy follow-up shots compared to a traditional bow that you're gonna require a tool or a caulking mechanism built into it to crank it. This leverage here, it just, it's gonna be much quicker to follow up the shots. I'm gonna take off the magazine, swap out the 180 pound limb, and then we're gonna get started. This is a very simple design. It's very quick to swap around and set up. It's very easy to swap these limbs around. So right now we have the 180 pound limb set up. One of my concerns when I said I would review this for a video was I have another bow that's kind of similar to this. It's a different brand. The first shot on each magazine shoots its off in pretty much any direction. After that, it corrects itself. So my question was, does this magazine have that same issue as the other one? And they were telling me that possibly the last round might be off a little bit. So when I look at that though, the first round being off is a major issue. The last round being off, pretty much, if this is a five shot magazine, we're gonna fill it with five, but we're gonna treat it as a four shot magazine. The last shot will always remain in there and then we'll top off each time. That way we have no fluctuations in accuracy. First things first, I wanna put this thing through the chronograph, figure out how fast those 190 grain, 7.5 inch long bolts are going and see how far it sticks into that ballistics gel. Once we do those groups, I wanna blow up some sodas. Then we have a spray paint. We'll follow that up with a beef bone that's frozen. After that, I wanna be the first person to take down a Texas star with a crossbow. We're probably gonna destroy the bolts doing it, but I have so many extras that I think it's worth trying. So let's get started. All right, chronograph test time. Two hundred and sixty six feet per second. Just shy of forty foot pounds. Let's do one more. Duplicate. One more. So we got 266, 266, 264. That is pretty consistent. And I can't get those out of there, so I'm just gonna leave the bolts in and worry about that later. All right, we have five shots ready to go. We're gonna shoot all five. I wanna see the accuracy from start to finish. Let's put it on that target right now. Last shot. All right, let's go check it out real quick. Let's go for this deer target next. I'm gonna try and put these five rounds into the cutout on that deer. I'm assuming it's like a vital organ spot, so let's aim for that. We're at about 25 yards right here. A little low. All right, last one. Let's check it out. That doesn't look too shabby. We have three that are pretty much stacked on one another. 
two flyers. I'm not sure if that's me or just the bow or the, the bolts. So let's keep going. I lied. We're going to have to do Texas stars first. I forgot the sodas. Let's do the Texas star and then we'll do sodas. Okay. I'm kind of excited for this. I'm going to destroy these bolts doing it, but it should be fun. Oh, poor shed. Not too bad. Let's see if I can hit that target at 60 yards from here. The aim like, well, like six feet above it. <laughs> All right, let me get the sodas. I'll be right back. This is the result of shooting the steels with the crossbow. So I highly recommend you don't do it to your own bolts unless you're intending on destroying them. I'm trying to attempt to not lose any more bolts right now. So I'm shooting towards the hill here. We'll hit the sodas and I'll go and collect them afterwards. As opposed to shooting them and having the bolts just sail into the woods somewhere. Soda time. Then I say that. I'm pretty sure I just had a ricochet for Stony with a crossbow bolt. <laughs> it's got a nice satisfying pop sound to it though. <laughs> let's go reset, I'll be right back. All right, let's finish off this last one. Oh, there's two of them lined up actually. Now that was cool. It's flare time. All right, let's have some fun. There we go. That's the trifecta I'm looking for. All right, we got two plates down there. Let's see if we can break some plates. It's a plate breaker. One more plate and then we're gonna move on. Redoing that one, we kind of nicked it. Downrange smells absolutely disgusting. Now it's watermelon time. Then after this, we're gonna do the bone. Let's go check and see what that did down there. All right, so we made it all the way through. One of them went out the side, so it's not sticking out, but it went through. I left a gap in between the high speed and the target and the watermelon. Wanna see how that looks going through it. All right, let's go check on it real quick. Not much to see on there for the bolts going through the watermelon, unfortunately. Let's do the beef bone. All right, beef bone's down there. Let's see what this will do to it. After this, let's wrap up. I wanna see how far this will go into a two by four. I'm gonna stand that back up down range and I'm gonna get a little bit closer and just throw one right into it. This bolt that went through this only had about that much penetration, but that was through frozen meat. We attempted to hit the frozen bone. It still made that much penetration, but it ended up bouncing off. All right, I'm down to my last bolt without opening up any other packages yet. The flights fell off a couple of the other ones, so with all the ones that we broke, lost, missing flights, stuck in targets, we have one left. I wanna see if I can get this in that two by four. See if it actually pierces through. Let's go check it out. I would say that's 
Lethal. So that arrow passed through the board pretty far. The leverage mechanism to cock this is working overtime because this thing puts out a lot of power, but it's relatively easy to cock this. And this is the 180 pound limb. So the 130 pound, if someone's struggling with this, they could definitely get away with that 130 pound limb. For someone who wants the extra power and to step up the 180, the caulking effort is, I'd say it's out of a 10, it's probably like a four. So there's definitely more room where you could probably add like a 200 something pound limb and be able to caulk it with this still relatively easily. My main concern with this was whether or not this magazine was gonna interfere with how the bow functions and how accurate it actually performs. Today, I haven't noticed any fluctuations in accuracy from the first to the fifth round in this. I didn't have to keep refilling while there was one round left in the magazine. I just kept going. Because my fear was that last round with what they told me was gonna be a little bit off. Just like the first round of the magazine on the bow that I have that is similar to this. Now, I haven't run into any issues with that, so so far so good. I can continue to test if people want me to continue to test this because I'd rather be the guinea pig. If someone's looking for something to buy and you just want to see someone use it on camera first because you're, you know, you have second thoughts, you're doubting something about it, I'll do the work for you. Just let me know what you want to do. Leave a comment below. If you want to see something get blown up, put that down below. You want to see accuracy tests farther away, keep grouping or something, I'll do that. Maybe I'll go on a hunt with this if people want me to do that. That would be kind of cool too. Not that I hunt, but I know a lot of people have been asking me to, and I've been thinking about getting into it, so this thing would be pretty fun to get into small game with. Now, my only complaints about this so far, well, not the ACOG, would just be that red dot that they include with it. And like I said, it's a nice thing that they just give you to have. It's better than nothing. But my first upgrade would be the sight. This hand grip. I haven't been using it, but it's another thing that just, it's nice to have if you want to use it. I feel like this angled grip right here, I don't know, naturally that's where my hand goes to rest. Just feels more comfortable there. You get a collapsible, adjustable AR style stock. I don't think you can replace this. I was looking in to see if you could actually take off like where it connects in the buffer tube, but I think this is all just one piece and then it clips in with this little push pin, just slides in there and that locks it in place. So I don't think you can swap that out, but don't hold me to that either. Other than that, it's actually really nice to have a bow that has a magazine on it. Just the follow-up shots are, you load five in and they all work perfect. So can't argue with that. Now, if someone was interested in this, I would suggest probably this is going to be used for backyard plinking. I'd say it's more of like a fun backyard shooting crossbow where hopefully if you're not me and you're shooting into targets where you can actually collect the bolts from, you get a lot of reusability out of this. You buy some bolts, you don't have to worry about wasting a bunch of ammo as long as you can collect them back because, you know, with hair guns and other things and whatnot, ammo does get expensive. So when you use something where, you know, you can reuse the ammo, X amount of times as long as you don't damage the flights or shoot steels or something with them. So definitely don't take down Texas stars with this unless you have some arrows that you're trying to get rid of. Unfortunately, I ruined some good ones, but I figured it would probably be cool to show that on video dropping a Texas star with this because I don't think anyone's dropped a Texas star with a crossbow before. So yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's gonna wrap up this video with the EK Archery Cobra system adder magazine-fed crossbow. All right, see ya.